All right, so I will make you the host and then you can share. Change your uh, Okay, just a second. Uh, okay, so, all right, perfect. Um, okay. It works. Uh, so you're able can to you see it? it? Yes, 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 I can see. Uh, just, uh, You are going to make a little introduction or? Uh, okay, so uh, the students haven't joined yet. So I will just give access to that and we can get started. And then you will do a little introduction or do you want me to start right away? Uh, no, no, I will, uh, I, I'll give you an introduction and then you can get started. Okay, okay. perfect, thank you. Okay, uh, just a second. Um, I will... Thank you, okay. Uh, all right. So, uh, Lydia, just a second. All right. Uh, okay. Since you're the host, uh, you're supposed to let people join in. I will just disable that so that people can join directly. Okay. Hey. So, uh, all right. So, what you have to do is, Lydia, uh, can you find an option like settings or something like that um, on the top where you enable access to uh, for, for people to join automatically? Um, Okay, I'm not sure if, uh, okay, so I, uh, all right, so you enabled that, right? Like yeah. people can join automatically. Okay. But uh, it's not automatically, I could in, let them all join at once, but it's not automatically. Uh, okay, so uh, just uh, go to the settings over there and just change it to um, enable, uh, disable the waiting room. There's something called disable the waiting room. Can you see it on top? Uh, you just have to click and you know, the option will come. You couldn't find it? Okay, just a second. Um, okay, just make me the host. I will disable that and I'll make you the host back. Uh, just near MS in Germany. Can you find uh, make host? Yes. Ah, okay. So um, just a second. I will. Okay. Um, all right. Just a second. Yeah. Yeah. In security, you have to. Yeah. I, I did that. Okay. Um, perfect. I'll make you the. Uh, I'll make you the host and you can do it now. Okay. Hey everyone. All right. So I made it. So nice <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Okay, so let's wait for two more minutes for people to join and then we can get started. All right. Okay. So meanwhile, everybody, this is uh, a chef from Amazon Germany. And that's uh, Lydia from Offenburg University of Applied Sciences. I will give a proper introduction once we wait for a few more people to join. Um, okay, so there's a question from Nana. So the question is, um, can we discuss about mechanical engineering too? Do you guys offer mechanical, uh, but this is like graduate school. Uh, so, you know, um, that course might be not available, but it's, it's available at Offenburg University. Um, but uh, today we'll be discussing more about graduate school, right, uh, Lydia? Right. So I will present the English taught master's degree programs. We do have mechanical engineering on bachelor level, uh, but it's only in, in German. So I will present, I will focus more on the English taught programs today. Okay, great. Um, okay, so uh, Lydia, just once, uh, I just want to double check. So um, in the option below, can you find something called security on the top or bottom? Uh, I'm not sure. You, you couldn't find mm -hmm. security? Uh, oh, yeah. Now I got it. Uh, okay. So in that, uh, make sure that the uh, waiting room is disabled. Yes, because when you're presenting, people will join uh, uh, automatically. They don't have to wait in the room or else it would be difficult for you to keep accepting them. 
Um, I think I did it now. Yeah, it's uh, it's called differently here because it's all in German. It's called free ah. wait room or something like that. Ah, I think yeah. that's fine. Ah, okay. So okay. All right. Because um, that tick mark should uh, shouldn't be there near it. That's all. Yeah, I guess in my case it has to be there because it says free waiting room. So if I tick it, I guess then they can join uh, without having to wait. I uh, hope it. I hope that's the way it is now. Ah, uh, because for us it's like enable waiting room and a tick mark, so people will wait when the tick. Mark okay, is. so I can also tick it off again, but there hasn't been a tick before. Ah, uh, okay. If there was no tick before, then keep it that way. Okay. Mm, yeah, I took it off now because people were still waiting. So I think you were right. It has <laughs> okay. to be without a tick. <laughs> All right. I also admit the people who are in the waiting room if uh, if there's any. Okay. okay. Hey, everyone. So um, if you guys, so first, uh, actually, Aditya will be presenting just to give you guys a heads up. So if you have any questions, uh, be it related to graduate school of Offenberg University of Applied Sciences, or be it related to masters in Germany, you could uh, actually ask your questions at the end of the session where we'll have a Q&A. So what you have to do is raise your hand uh, when you have a question and we'll go in that order. So you'll be able to raise your hand and you will be able to unmute yourself only at the end of the session uh, so that, you know, um, we could, uh, uh, you know, let's not interrupt Lydia in the middle of the presentation, but uh, she'll be presenting for like 20 minutes and then we will go forward with uh, the Q&A. And we also have Udesa with us here, uh, who will also be taking up questions uh, related to masters in Germany. So, yeah. Okay, so it's already 8.05. I think we can get started with the session. Um, so thank you everybody for joining uh, today's session. We have Lydia from Offenberg University of Applied Sciences. Uh, so she is here to tell all about the courses that's been offered at graduate school and uh, the international student life at the university campus. And they have, uh, you know, they're one of the one of the great public universities in Germany. So um, over to you, Lydia. Tell us a bit about yourself. Well, thank you very much at first for this possibility to present our programs here with you and thank you everybody who has joined now. Um, I'm, my name is Lydia Schindler and I'm working here for the Graduate School of Offenburg University. Uh, the Graduate School offers the English taught master's degree programs here at Offenburg University. So I will now um, open my presentation for you so that you can also see the slides. And uh, I will focus on the English taught master's degree programs of the Graduate School of Offenburg University. Just a second, please. It doesn't come up. So now you should see my slides, correct? Okay. So Offenburg University um, is a university of applied sciences uh, situated in southwest of Germany. So here you see we're right at the corner with France and with Switzerland. Uh, and therefore it's a real um, cross-national metropolitan area, although Offenburg is a quite small city, about 60,000 inhabitants. Um, you have you know, all the infrastructure here in the city that you need with uh, shops, hospitals, um, university, and so on. But also you have uh, Strasbourg about half an hour away already in France, which is uh, where you have the European Parliament, for example. You have Basel, another interesting town in Switzerland already, only about one and a half hours away. So that's where we are located. And we're happy that we are here in one of Germany's strongest economic regions that always helps when you look for a job uh, during your yeah you're doing your studies but especially after your studies 
And our campus is here in the city of Offenburg mainly, but we also have a second campus where our business related programs are based in, which is the city of Gengenbach, only about eight kilometers away from here. And you see um, the Gengenbach campus here on the upper picture, a very beautiful Benedictine monastery that has been restored uh, and is now host and, and now hosts the um, campus, the Gengenbach campus of the university. So it's really a great place to study. You have extraordinary living standard here, um, which I personally enjoy a lot, especially the fact that uh, the distances here are very short and I can do almost everything by bike or by foot even. And you have the Black Forest region. Uh, this is, we are situated in the Black Forest region, which is a very touristic region at, uh, at the same time. So many people come here for the beautiful landscape. And you have this um, very strong economic um, side on, on, on the other side of, uh, on the other hand, and which makes it very attractive to live and work here. So, but let me now go on a little bit more uh, with the details or with information about Offenburg University itself, where University of Bis uh, Technology, Business and Media. So we do not offer all different kinds of um, careers or programs that you can imagine. We do not have sociology or psychology or something like that. We focus on what we are really good in. And these, these areas are the ones we offer programs in. We are one of the oldest universities of applied sciences in Germany, where we were founded in 1964 already uh, and offer praxis oriented studies with about around 4,500 students enrolled right now. About 12% of them are international and that's very nice to have um, this very international campus here with many students from all over the world. About half of our programs are bachelor programs and the other half are master programs. And some of them are English taught programs. And those are the ones I will talk more about later on. We have around 80 cooperating universities worldwide, all over the world and all continents, because it's important for us that our students also go abroad as in the same way as it's important for us to have this international campus here. And we are happy um, as we are in this strong economic regions of Germany to have this spacious enterprise network. Uh, we benefit a lot from that because our students can easier find um, practical trainings. And we also, they help us to keep our programs always up to date and oriented to the market. So this is a great benefit for the university too. And we enjoy here a very safe and friendly environment. We are a smaller university, therefore it's more like a family atmosphere that you will find here. And I personally feel very safe also to walk at any time of the day and night in the streets of Offenburg, in the center, wherever you are. So this is something um, that I'm sure if you decide to come here, you will enjoy too. If you decide to do a technical um, program here at Offenburg University, you will also want to know what are the possibilities uh, in the laboratories here at uh, the university. And I can assure you that we have very well equipped laboratories and facilities um, for all our different, uh, the, all the different areas, uh, technical areas that we offer. We can do that also close uh, due to our close connection to the industry. Uh, and something that uh, I think is very important for you too, is that we have a very small student teacher ratio. So we take care that you can actually have a personal, get a personal attention from professors. Especially in our graduate school, we do not admit more than 15 to 25 students per batch. So, we really want you to work together as a group as in, in do group works and have this personal uh, contact with the professors. And what I would feel very important, think that's very important for me if I choose where to study is the fact that 
I would want to have professors that actually have real experience in what they're teaching. And Offenburg University does not have, well, does only allow somebody to become a professor here at the Offenburg, at the university if the professors do not only have a doctoral degree, but they have to have also a minimum of three years of experience from outside of the academic career, outside of a university. So this is very important because they can bring the experience from their um, yeah, professional life outside of the academic career into the university and share that with our students too. Uh, and I think this is a great benefit for, especially for the students and also for us, the whole university was because we keep that close link to uh, the market, to the economy, uh, to the industry. Although we are University of Applied Sciences, there are possibilities to pursue a doctoral degree too. That depends a little bit on the area you're focusing in, but uh, there are definitely some possibilities. We have around 40 PhD students with us right now, which we offer these PhD um, places we do offer in cooperation with traditional universities here in this region. So Offenburg University is very strong also in the area of applied research and there are many research projects and you're very much invited already also during your um, studies to participate in research projects. The laboratories are not only there for our professor or assistants, they're really there for our students uh, to put in practice what they have learned in theory and to participate in, in research projects and so on. So there are many student research projects which are supervised by our professors and staff members also. And some of them I just put here on the slide. Um, they're very, some of the most uh, yeah, successful ones. For example, our uh, robo here, humanoid robo uh, called Sweaty. Uh, he participated in the RoboCup during all the last 10 years. And I just, you know, he has won, he has been wise world champion in a row for the last five years. Uh, and the only year that didn't, that he didn't become wise world champion was 2020 because it didn't, it didn't take place that year because of the Corona pandemic. So it's a lot of fun for the students participating in these research projects too, because they go with it traveling to these competitions, they work very hard and very closely together. They get in intercultural and inter, um, interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary experience, which is very important also for your future um, professional career, I think. So it's a very good chance to take part in these um, projects too. The programs we are offering here in English at our graduate school are the ones you see here on this slide. So it's the first one, it's in a, we are, they're all um, ordered in a chronological order, the way they have, when they have been uh, set up. So the first one is our most traditional um, and very successful program. It's called Communication and Media Engineering. It combines in a very unique and interesting way, communication, IT, and media technology. And it's even been um, labeled top 10 of the international master's degree courses in Germany by the German Academic Exchange Service some years ago. So it's, it's a great program that has always been, you know, updated to the newest needs of the market and it continues to be very successful. So if you're a coming from a bachelor degree in the area of electrical engineering or IT, um, this is a great um, program where you can focus on being a, uh, a professional uh, in the area of media afterwards, for example. The second program here on this list, International Business Consulting is an MBA. So it's designed for people who already have professional experience um, and want to go one step further in their career, become a project manager, uh, go into, into the area of management consulting, for example. So we also have students coming and individuals coming from all over the world to study this program. It's a very international batch also. And this program has been listed twice in QS top MBA too. So it's really a great program. And if you compare it with similar quality, um, 
quality programs, you will also see that it's a very good price in comparison with these programs. The third program here on this list, Renewable Energy and Data Engineering, um, focuses on energy systems, smart grids, and underlying algorithms, and modern IT and data engineering methods. The future energy market does not only ask for individuals and professionals who know all everything about energy generation and conversion. They also need at the same time professionals who have this knowledge, but who also have IT knowledge because the energy nets and the administration of the energy nets are becoming more and more important. And therefore they need professionals who can combine the knowledge of these two areas. And that's why this program prepares you perfectly for us. So if you do, um, if you study renewable energy and data engineering at Offenburg University, I'm sure you will be prepared very well for the future energy market, especially also looking at renewable energies um, because that's a strong focus in this program. The next program is process engineering. It's also a very interesting program um, where you have uh, chemical and thermal process engineering combined with biotechnology or food technology. So usually people who want to study that should have a little bit of background in chemical engineering uh, or something similar. And it's a very interesting program also from the point of view that you will study one semester here at Offenburg University. The second semester, you will already study at a different university at a diff in a different country you will study at our partner university in Austin. So uh, this is in Poland and therefore you will get at the end a double degree from a German and a Polish university. So you have a real European degree at the end and a very international experience in two different countries. So this is a great program also. Uh, and oh, I forgot to say the third semester uh, is reserved always for your master thesis and you can choose in this case where you want to do your math thesis as you do have the choice in the other programs too. So you can do it either in Poland or in Germany or wherever you want. Most students actually come back to Germany because they prefer to do their master thesis in a company, in a research project of a company because this is a great chance to get already in contact with possible future employers. Uh, and therefore, um, we as we there are more possibilities for that in Germany most of them come back for the third semester and do that somewhere around here next program biotechnology is actually exactly the same structure as process engineering so also in this case it's a double degree program with our partner university in Austin and you will end up with a German Polish double degree program and it focuses on the area of bioeconomy so this uh, is also a very interesting program that uh, if you come from the area of biotechnology, uh, it's a very great um, yeah, star, uh, master program to, to put on top and, and you will really have a very international um, education uh, if you choose to do that. Last but not least, our program Enterprise and IT Security with a focus on technical, organizational, and legal aspects of securing IT systems. For this program, you should have already has some background in your bachelor's degree in, in the area of uh, yeah, IT security. And then this program uh, will uh, continue and deepen this knowledge uh, and so that at the end you will be perfectly prepared um, to secure IT systems, either in enterprises or in public uh, institutions. It's definitely a topic that's very up to date in any area um, that you want to work in afterwards. What about the application? So I can assure you it's, it's not, not difficult at all to apply at Offenburg University because we do all the application process ourselves and therefore we have an application portal where you can already start your application now uh, and put your details in. At first, you are only asked to put your personal profile, your transcript, and maybe a picture in, uh, just a few deep information about yourself. 
And then you will already, after a few weeks, you will get a feedback from the program coordinator if your um, application is accepted for the second stage of the application process. And in the second stage, um, they will then ask you for a few more uh, documents and information in order to select the, the best students at the end. As I said, about 15 to 25 students are admitted at the end. The application deadline for all the engineering programs are uh, March 31st, so you can apply now or wait still a little bit, but until March 31st, you should have put in all the information. Uh, and then if you are applied, the lectures, uh, if you were admitted, sorry, the lectures will start in October. Uh, what do you need for the application? Definitely you have to have a bachelor degree that fits with the master's uh, master program. You certainly need to um, show uh, with a TOEFL or an ILTS degree, um, test that you have the necessary English language knowledge uh, because they are taught in English, as I already mentioned. Only one program, our program, um, renewable energy and data engineering actually also requires some German knowledge for application. Uh, German knowledge in this case should be um, on the level of B1 in order to be admitted, because in this program, they all also offer some German uh, elective subjects in the second semester. And therefore you also need some German knowledge already in the beginning. The fees um, for non-European citizens are 1,500 euros state tuition fee per semester and a small administrational fee of 134 euros. There are some scholarships, but I have to admit not for the first semester. Um, so if you can apply uh, in the first semester, you can apply for the second and third semester for an extension of the scholarship, but I have to admit only five, we are only allowed to exempt 5% of our students, not more than that. And there are only a few partial scholarships that help you financing a little bit your living, um, but also again, they are not, you're not able to apply for them for the first semester, only for the second semester on. So you have to assure the financial, uh, the, um, costs, uh, living costs, and also the tuition fee costs um, without having, yeah, without being able to count on that. The MBA has a different fee structure. It costs 11,252 euros, more or less, for all the three semesters. So this is the fee uh, that, no, not more or less. It's exactly the fee that you pay for the three semesters. So in this case, it's not per semester. Uh, I put the complete fee because you pay a little bit more in the sec first semester than in the second and a little bit more in the second than in the third. And therefore, uh, it's easier to see the whole cost for the complete program. We do all our best that we can that um, help to help you to arrive well here at Offenburg and to get support uh, in any aspect that you need. Therefore, we have an, uh, we assist you in finding accommodation here before you come. Uh, we have a senior um, student that will orient you during the first few days and, and show you around and pick you up at the train station. And we also have some orientation events. All the programs usually go for a weekend, actually, in the beginning, a whole weekend. Um, where they, you know, go to a nice place here in the Black Forest, for example, and they get to know each other and get all the information they need. So this is a good, great start because this way you will um, already know each other and, and have all the information. And then we also have, you will also be able to count on the individual support and advice of the coordinator of each program. So this is something very um, in special about Offenburg University too, uh, that each program has this spe specific coordinator. 
And I would invite you and encourage you to come a little bit earlier than October already, because in September we offer a German summer language course, which uh, helps you to improve your German or even start with German. And it also is a great chance. It's also a great chance to, to get to know the, the place, to have nice excursions together, to get to know each other. So when the classes start in October, you will already feel home here. You will know, you know, all the places and had a, a nice time in, in September learning German together. We also encourage you to continue with the language courses during the lecture period. So there are German classes offered, but also other uh, language courses if you want. Um, it just depends what you want to do after your you know, afterwards, if you want to stay in Germany, work here. Yeah, it's really important that you improve your German knowledge, although you're studying in English. Uh, it's important that at the end of the, your studies, when you apply for the for a job, that you have at least uh, sufficient knowledge in German that you can communicate with the people. And we also want you not only to have success in your studies, but also have a great time here in Offenburg and in this region. Therefore, we offer a cultural and social program with excursion get togethers and so on. You can take part in the sports offered sports program, for example, a lake right next to the university. Um, there's a possibility to participate in the sailing group in summer, or you go mountain biking in the forest, in the Black Forest Mountains, or whatever you want. <laughs> and Something very special about Offenburg is also our senior service, which is an initiative bringing together senior citizens and international students. So around 80 senior citizens of Offenburg, they usually don't have anything to do with the university besides that. They just got together and they said, okay, we really want our international students that come to Offenburg. Uh, we want to welcome them. We want to help them to integrate to get to know something else than only uh, their studies uh, to get to know people German people here our culture and so on and they also are curious to get to know you so that's a great chance and I know that many of our students um, have you know created very strong relationships with part, uh, members of the senior service and had a have a great um, connection and, and um, you almost feel like part of their families very often. And sure, at the end of the um, your studies, we will also you can also join our job application training and the recruiting event that we have every year here at the university, and our international alumni network, so that you keep in touch with each other and also with us here at the university. Well, once again, I want to invite you to come to Offenburg and. You can count on English taught programs here at the graduate school, which are taught in small classes, small groups. Um, you can count on an intercultural experience because their batches are always very international. And you can be sure that you have comprehensive individual services here. And once you graduated, I'm sure you also have excellent career opportunities. So that's. Um, all I wanted to present for now. So I'm very open for your questions now. I just want to invite you to Offenburg. It's really a place to build your future. And if you have any questions uh, about specific details that I presented or whatever that comes to your mind, I will be happy to answer these questions now. I, I think you cannot speak so far. Is that right? We can't yeah. hear you. Okay, now I can hear you. Okay. All right. uh, the thing is, uh, uh, Lydia, can you make me the host? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, perfect. So guys, uh, you can start asking the questions. Uh, I have let you uh, unmute yourself. 
So uh, start raising your hands and we'll go in that order. So you can ask question anything related to Flinburg University or the programs over there, or it could even be related to masters in Germany. So feel free to switch on your mic and ask a question. Okay, so there is uh, Kasim. So hi, Kasim. Uh, do you have a question? Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, yes, yes, we can hear Hello. you. Hello, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, I'm studying now the third year mechanical engineering, ma'am. Okay. I will do my master's in automobile engineering, ma'am. Okay. So, in Offenbach University, have automobile engineering, ma'am. Okay, so you're asking if there's automobile engineering course at Offenbach University. Am I right? We do not. Ah, have yes, ma'am. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid I have to inform you that we do not have a master's degree in automotive engineering anymore. We used to do that, uh, yeah, about 20 years ago, but not anymore now. Um, so I'm, I'm afraid, yeah. Is there something the related that we can offer. Uh, is there any mechanical courses uh, at a friend, right? Well, uh, among the programs that I just presented, um, energy, the energy program, and renewable, yeah, energy. renewable energy and data engineering. Yes, yes, yes. This is open for mechanical engineers too, if they already have, you know, focus in, in this area. But if you have more focus in automotive engineering, I think it doesn't really fit, to be honest. Uh, okay. Yeah, um, hope you, I hope that answered your question, Kasim. But uh, in general, automotive engineering is, um, you know, it's, it's very popular in Germany. And likewise, the competition is very, very high. So, um, so there are so many emerging courses right now, which are uh, having a lot of demand and also wanted, and especially when it comes to job opportunity. So um, consider choosing something else as well. But uh, if automotive is all right, another question, Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Ma yes. Hello. Yes. Please. Uh, okay, okay ma'am. Yeah. Uh, um, Mechanotronics, have ma'am. Mechanotronics. Mechatronics? Mechatronics. Uh, okay. Oh. Well, as I said, the, the programs that are presented are the only ones that we offer in English. But if you have a, a background in mechatronics, this fits actually quite well to our program, um, Renewable Energy and Data Engineering, if you have an interest in working in this area of energy in the future. Um, so if, if you want to focus on, on the energy sector, mechatronics is uh, perfectly fine. Um, it works as a, as a bachelor uh, background. It works perfectly for this program. Okay, okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so uh, yeah, thank you, Hassan. Uh, all right, so we'll move on to the next person. Uh, hi, Alan. Hello. Yeah, hi, ma'am. Can you hear yeah, me? Hi. Yes, yes, we can hear you. Yeah, so, like, uh, I have a doubt regarding uh, data engineering or, like, data science program. Okay. So, after completion of my master's, how will be the uh, job opportunities for me, like, data uh, For engineering? data engineering. Uh, am yeah. I right? Okay. Yeah, I'm a um, computer science class student. Okay. That's nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we do not have data engineering only. We only have this program that I just mentioned, uh, our program Renewable Energy and Data Engineering. So it's a combination uh, of electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, and IT and data engineering. Um, so you should be interested in both. Uh, I don't know. Uh, his question was, uh, what, what are the job opportunities after yeah. pursuing uh, data engineering or yeah. something related to that? So if you, if you come from the area of data engineering, you can go for this program if you want. We do not have data engineering only, but this combination. And if you finish this program, I know that uh, the um, perspectives are really good because here in Germany, um, okay. the, you know, the market of energy is, is changing a lot. And as I said, they created this program because there's a great demand for professionals who, who have a combination of uh, the knowledge of these two areas. So as far 
as I know, you know, the, the professional, uh, the graduates who have uh, finished mm -hmm. this program in the last years, they have found a job quite easily. Okay. So that's all about it. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. It you. always, as I said before, it always helps a lot if you also have good German knowledge. But for this program, anyhow, you have to know German already before you start because you already have to have a German level uh, equivalent to B1. And therefore, the graduates of these, this program always have enough knowledge in German that they also don't have a problem on the um, labor market to find a job then. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, also, it's not just about uh, Germany, you know, data science and data, uh, data related courses uh, have a lot of demand uh, when it comes to job. You know, even if you're living in India, yeah. you can still find so many wanted in, uh, the in this. Uh, okay, the pay scale is really good in Germany uh, for especially when you complete your master's. Uh, it's, it's really high, so you don't have to worry about finding a job unless what you have to focus on is getting your grades up to the mark and is the interview and you know just just keep it up throughout the especially if you're studying in a university of applied sciences you will get that kind of uh, that's why they're asking German as one of the prerequisite because they want to train you for the market out there. So, um, you know, um, so yeah, that's, that's about it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. All right. So, uh, hi, Yash, are you there? Yeah, hi. Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, yes, what's your uh, question? Good evening. I hope uh, all you're doing good. Okay. And, and my question is, uh, a work experience is compulsory to MBA? Uh, work experience is compulsory for MBA? Now, for the MBA, yes, sorry. Uh, for all the other programs, not, but for the MBA, you have to have at least one and a half uh, years of uh, professional experience with real, not only practical training, but real professional experience. Uh, yes. um, so it does not include internship. Uh, in it does not include internship. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's fine. And uh, uh, German language is compulsory to study in Offenbach University. The only, well, we have many German taught programs and for those definitely you have to have be fluent in German. But for the programs I just presented, those are the ones taught in English, these six programs, master degree programs. And for those who don't need um, German knowledge beforehand, only uh, for this one program, renewable energy and data engineering, you need a little, you know, you need to have some knowledge already, but you don't need to be fluent. Okay, uh, and one thing, ma'am. Actually, uh, I went through I went through your website and uh, I have uh, did an inquiry. I got an application forms to my home to Korea, but it's totally in German. How can I change it? Uh, I mean, how can I get an English uh, forms? Uh, you went into our online application platform. Yeah, I went home. Uh, there you can always change. On, there's a button on, on the top where you can change from German to English. Yeah. Uh, so you can, you can. Well, actually, I have to admit that they still want to have you to have. Uh, they still want you to sign the German admission um, and German documents too at the end, especially the legal ones. But you always get a, tra uh, a translation. You can change to the English language and then you get the translation. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm not saying about an online application. I got an offline application through post. So regarding that, I'm saying. Uh, you got an offline application through post yeah. from Offenberg University. Yeah. From, with, yeah. whom did you talk, uh, with, with whom were you in contact there? With, for which program? Uh, for MBA, ma'am. For the MBA. Okay, so... In, in this case, you need to contact the coordinator of the program and she can orient you. Uh, maybe, did, did, you, did you get this uh, offline application from Mrs. Topal? Uh, I don't know the exact name, but uh, the name starts with K. Uh, but so, Lydia, you can apply, uh, any student can apply through online application right the it has to be online usually so I'm, I'm wondering maybe if there's a misunderstanding here or if it's the wrong program or um maybe um it's just that you have to sign you know the the german um the german document too but you always get an english uh, translation 
So there's maybe that's just a misunderstanding behind. Yeah. I would contact um, the coordinator of the program uh, if that's the right document that you need to sign, or maybe is it you know if there's a misunderstanding behind that. Yeah, sure, sure. Thank you. Mom. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, and all the best to you, Yash. Uh, okay, so we have Abhishek. Hi, Abhishek. Hi. Hi. Uh, uh, yes. What's your question? Yeah, so my question was that like uh, I'm ha having a three years bachelor's degree okay. with uh, means it completes my 15 years of education. So would I be eligible to apply for German universities? Uh, That's a good question. Yeah. I have to admit that most of our programs require uh, at least seven semester uh, as a, a bachelor for a bachelor. It means that the bachelor minimum study um, pro, the minimum time that you study your bachelor's degree has to be seven semester. Um, so in two cases uh, for biotechnology and process engineering, you may ask if you can do an extra semester uh, and you can do a scientific work in order to um, get the entrance qualification, the seven semesters. Yeah, but I was, the other programs, uh, it doesn't work. I'm sorry. I was applying for master's in management. For the MBA? Uh, MIM. Uh, master's in management uh, course. I, I don't think it's from Offenberg University, right? Uh, you're saying in general you want to apply for MIM. Is yes, that sir. right? Okay, um, so um, it varies with university actually, uh, Abhishek. You need to check, uh, but some universities might not mention about this. So you can email them or, you know, just yeah. contact the office, international office, and they'll guide you. Uh, uh, they are yeah, they so. mention uh, 180 credit points are required, uh, ECT uh, points. Yes, yes, that is like uh, around three years itself in Indian. Uh, this You will have to convert it. But usually 180 is corresponding to three years of education. So okay. if you can prove that you have completed 180 credits, then you're good to go. But usually 180 corresponds to three years of education. That's okay. correct. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Um, okay. So, um, hi, Ishwar. Hello, we get this. Uh, okay, yes. That's uh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have a small doubt. Yes. Uh, I, I am searching for two programs. One is mechatronics and uh, mechanical engineering and management. Okay. Uh, may I know which course have uh, uh, more demand after completion of master's according to job wise? Do uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to take it up, Lydia? I would say oh. the engineering one. Yes, yes, uh, uh, too, uh, because, uh, yeah, it's usually, but uh, to be honest, I don't have much expertise on this area, like post-admission, we usually help with the admission process or, you know, reaching the universities. So I think the best person to talk about, uh, you know, something after master's would be someone who is actually pursuing both of these courses. But I can tell you that for, for the students who study in MBA, here at, in, in, in Germany, uh, I mean, there's also great demand, but uh, for people who want to work as in the area of management, uh, it's very important to be completely fluent in German too, when they work in this area. So for a foreigner to enter in the management area is more difficult than in the engineering area. So if you have uh, a engineer, if you want to, to work in Germany afterwards, I would uh, um, yeah, encourage you to, to go for engineering and not for, for management or not for business uh, at, uh, studies. But if you have yeah. mechatronics master, for example, or if you go for renewable energy and data engineering, this would fit with your interest. Um, this is definitely a career where you have a very good um, pers um, perspectives. Instead, if you do the MBA, I mean, you will have great possibilities in many countries, but uh, in English-speaking countries then. Actually, 
that is uh, the course name itself uh, mecha- mechanical engineering and management mm. that's and the what, other uh, courses uh, the other one you mentioned was mechatronics no, mechatronics ah okay so this one is having management part as well as part of the course right yeah in mechanical engineering and management in that course uh, i think it have management part does it yeah. have the great impact there sure that's a good option too because then the mechanical engineering is the most important part of this program um but we do not offer a program called like that um, we do not have a program that's named that way is that from a different university then yeah okay thank you <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> Yeah. Uh, all right. So, uh, Kasim. All right, Kasim, you have a question. Hello, ma'am. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead with your question. Is is it Upon Berg University a public or private, ma'am? Uh, he's asking if it's a public or private university. Okay. Okay, okay ma'am. Yeah, public university. Yes, it's a public university. <laughs> public university, ma'am. Yes, yeah. yes, it is perfect. Okay, okay, ma'am. Semester contribution, ma'am, with uh, how much, ma'am? How much per semester? Yeah, for the engineering programs. Contribution. Thousand five hundred euros, uh, tuition fee and a small administrative fee. Okay, so. Thank you so much for the question. And there are a few questions in the chat box, uh, but uh, it would be great if you guys could switch on your mics and ask the question. Because if there's any subsequent questions, we can take it up. So um, it would be better if you guys ask the question. Um, but um, nevertheless, let's see if we have some questions here. Uh, okay, so uh, there's a question from Bishwas. The question is, do I have to give IELTS if I want to enroll? in uh, uh, okay if i want to enroll in german talk programs uh, okay so she's at work uh, she or he is at work so um, so the question is is ielts compulsory to enroll for these programs for our english talk programs uh, yeah. yes it's uh, compulsory to have ielts or tofl uh, but uh, i think she's talking about german talk programs the german talk programs certainly not then you have to prove your german knowledge only okay So I hope that answered your question, Bushwa. Um, okay, so is there any other question that you guys have? Uh, let me go ahead. Um, okay, so there is a question from Sri Hari. So the question is, if we have done our bachelor's in mechanical engineering and want to pursue our master's in IT-related fields like data science, big data, and Python, are we, can we, are we able to do it in Germany? <laughs> yeah, actually, in this case, If this program would be an exception that we offer that uh, usually you, you can only pursue a master in the area that you had your bachelor's degree in. So usually that doesn't work. But in our case, as our master, renewable energy and data engineering is a combination of both. Uh, in this specific uh, master, this is possible. So you can, if you already have shown some interest in data science uh, and maybe in energy during your bachelor and you want to go for this area, it's possible to uh, do this master degree coming from mechanical engineering and then you will um, have this data engineering part with, with it uh, together in your master too. Okay, so I hope that answered your question, Sriharri. So uh, the next question is from Ankit, so the question is, what is the amount of time we need to spend on German language to pursue higher education in Germany? So I think, let's say, uh, if it's up to B1, uh, approximately how much time would it take? But I'm not sure if you'll be able to answer that. Are we <laughs> able to answer that question since you already know German, right? It's, it's difficult to tell. And I think yeah. it depends a lot on the person, uh, you know, how fast you learn a language and If you learn it in your home country, it's probably more difficult um, than if you're already here in Germany studying German because then you have the German environment all the time. Yeah. Um, I've, I've known people who made it in one year intensive language course studying in Germany. 
actually but that's difficult much, no no it could be much shorter than that if you're in india and that's all you do so let's say you have not okay <laughs> course yet if you're not studying yet and you have all the time then um, you know because I, i have my friend who for, who finished her b1 certificate who had zero uh, you know background in german she finished it in like 3 to 4 months uh, oh, and sure. she passed it uh, yeah so because she's talking anything. about you're talking about b1 are you ah yes b1 okay i was talking about uh, you know the, being able uh, to study in a german taught program uh, because for a german taught program you will need Uh, about C1 okay. level one, and then yeah. that would take definitely <laughs> a year <laughs> or more than that uh, mm-hmm. so uh, but uh, in general like if you want to pursue um, you know um, uh, you know your higher education in germany uh, in general usually students go for english top programs from india so you just need some basic german and that's also not mandatory for all the courses but uh, it's always better for you to know at least till b1 and that would take 3 to 4 months could be even lesser it depends on how many hours you spend in a day so, that's right yeah. <laughs> yeah thank you okay so uh, there's a question from bishwa uh, okay so there there's also some people who are waiting in line to ask so i will uh, you know let them so ashwini hi ashwini do you have a question hello Uh, are you able to uh, speak? Okay, okay, I'm not sure. Okay, let's take a question here. Uh, so there's a question from Bishwas. The question is: I have done my bachelor's in 2016 in me- mechanical engineering, but I don't have a relevant work experience in my field. So still, should I? Uh, would I be able to get admit uh, in masters in any engineering program? So. let's see i mean you know like the the person is having mechanical engineering background and do not have any experience so that means that has some gap years so uh, to what extent do gap years you know become an issue to when we are applying for a fenbuck university i i it's always a question how you can explain it i think you know um if if there if you can explain your gap with something that is understandable um that's perfectly okay okay um but uh, but he or she can get into an engineering masters program without work experience right do all your programs require work experience only the only program that requires work experience is our mba program all the other programs do not require but there i have to admit there if you have a uh, work experience that fits to the area that you want to continue with uh, it's always counted as a plus in the selection process okay um all right so ashwini you are not able to unmute is it um hello okay so she is not able to unmute her mic so uh, if possible ashwini can you um you know sw- uh, write the question in the comment section so that we can take it up all right so until then um there is also one other question in the comment section so um Okay so uh, Lydia I have a question for you which is also from Ankit so do you guys have a uh, one year ms programs like masters programs of one year no, no it's it's all no. two years right two years or one uh, one and a half most of them are one and a half uh, the only program that's four, uh, two years is our communication and media engineering program that takes two years uh, the other programs take one and a half years even the mba one right even the mba yeah it's a fast track okay uh but um the, but there are some ms programs of one year uh in germany so you can check them out okay okay so uh there's a question uh okay so ma'am will we go through any interview process or any exam to get the admit in the university for masters course so at fenberg is there anything like that and now we do did not implement any uh, interview so far they were thinking about it uh, but so far all the selection process is based on the documents that you are sending and the motivation letter in some in some cases are also asked for uh, some recommendation letter you will you know show what you have done so far or what you have which are the grades uh, in your uh, in your bachelor degree and all this is you know carefully looked at and then they do the decision Okay 
So thank you so much for the question. And uh, with that, we have come to an end of the session. Uh, thank you so much, Lydia, for joining us today. And thank You're you very welcome. <laughs> thank you, everyone, for joining. And do you have some last words? Any piece of advice for the students uh, aspiring yeah, right. to a Fenberg University? Yeah, uh, just a second. Yeah, yeah, Lydia, go ahead. I didn't talk about somebody else. Uh, no, no, no. There's, a, I think there was somebody else, but I've just like, uh, okay. I have already muted. Yeah, go ahead. I yes. just, yeah. I just want to thank you for this possibility to present our programs here with you. And uh, I hope I can see some of you later on here at Offenburg University and meet you. <laughs> yes, thank thank you. you very much. Thank you so much. And uh, this is also live on uh, YouTube and you can watch it later if you have, if you want to know anything about it again. Um, so thank you so much. And thank you, Lydia, for joining and uh, hope to see you again soon and have a great day. Have a great weekend ahead, all of you. Thank you. You too. And thanks for your attention. Mm -hmm.